Hello and welcome to Under the Magnifier as we preview the Group 1 Charter Keck Kramer Moyer Stakes here on a big night at the Valley. And Ben, it's no surprise that we've got a short price favourite in Imperatriz, given what we saw from her earlier this month. Yeah, absolutely. Imperatriz is going for a sixth Group 1 here. She's a $1.80 favourite in the Ladbrokes markets from Uncommon James. Been well backed into $4.50, as Fura $6.50 and Rothfire $8.50. Now we've got uh, Zoostyle and Acromantula who came through that Middies McEwen here again. They'll put it, uh, the speed into the race. What about a horse like Asphora? Do you see it slotting in? I do. I think uh, Zoostyle takes the front again from barrier three. Acromantula won't be far off him. Asphora will look to come across from barrier six and Rothfire will just get that box seat run again. Uncommon James is the one I'm a little bit unsure about from barrier seven. Just not sure where he gets to in the run. And Imperatures likely goes back and finds cover. Now, as I mentioned off the top, Imperatriz was unbelievable in her win here first up. Do you have any concerns at all? Maybe uh, the freshness out of her staying at the 1,000 metres second up? Potentially, but we saw her here on Tuesday and she was still on her toes bouncing around. So I am hoping for her back is that the freshness is still in her legs. Track record time here, 56.68 seconds. It was an unbelievable win beating Rothfire and Giga Kick, who unfortunately pulled up with an injury. Opie Boston takes a ride, and I think Barrier 5 is just about perfect for her. Another horse in the market here is Asphora, just such a professional. This has been the grand final all the way through. This is the group one they've marked for the spring. What do you think of its chances? Yeah, as you said, Henry Dwyer has earmarked this race from a long way out. Mitch Aiken will be looking for his first group one, as will this mare. She was awesome winning the Heath last start, but things did pan out nicely for her, and she only beat a horse named Midwest. So there is a little question mark on the form. Can she absorb high pressure or will she be too close to a frantic tempo? I'm not sure. And coming here first up is Uncommon James, a quality galloper, but first go here at the Valley. Yeah, that's right. We see this replay here. He uh, broke his Group 1 maiden in the Oakley Plate. Uh, I can see why this horse has been really well backed in Ladbrokes markets because this win rated 14.6 lengths above the all-average benchmark. It gets Damien Lane. Just a question mark about Barrier 7, as I mentioned. Well, it's time to get your betting play. How are you spending your $100 on the Group 1? I'm having $80 on the favourite Imperatriz, and I'm having a $20 exacta for her to beat Asfura. I think they should clearly be the top two in the market. So yeah, Imperatriz to nail Asfura in the final 50. So we've gone pretty similar here. I've also gone 80 the win on Imperatriz. I think we just get the money here, get something out of her. Going exacta as well for $20, but I will go Uncommon James banking on the class to finish second behind Imperatriz. It's going to be a fantastic race and it's going to be a massive night here to launch the Ladbrokes Friday night light season here at the Valley. Get on down, the weather is going to be perfect. We can't wait to see you here.